This is the introduction to the general ledger. So in terms of where we are in accounting, we've looked at um, transactions happening. So the owner investing money in the business, um, purchasing stationery, purchasing equipment, renting property. Um, so transactions are happening in the business and we've looked at um, recording uh, how we've received different source documents. So we've looked at recording all the receipts and the cash register rolls in the cash receipts journal. And we've looked at recording all the check counterfoils in the cash payments journal. And now when we look at the general ledger, we basically taking the information from the cash receipts journal and the cash payments journal, and we are summarizing it into the general ledger. So what is the general ledger? It's a collection of accounts of the business and they are recorded in a certain order. They are used to aid in the preparation of the financial statements for the business at the end of the year. Why would the business do financial statements? Well, they want to work out, have we made an income? Have we made uh, a profit? Sorry, have we made a profit? Have we made a loss? Um, there are certain statements that a business is required to produce, particularly if they um, are earning a certain amount of revenue a year. And so it's the next step in the accounting cycle. Um, they completed once a month. So every month you would have drawn up your cash receipts journal, your cash payments journal, and you would post, that's what we use the word, that information from your journals into the general ledger. And that information is obtained from your receipts and your payments journals. There are two sections in the general ledger. The balance sheet section, that comes first. The nominal section comes last. The balance sheet section consists of assets owned by the business, and your two owner's equity accounts, capital and drawings. The nominal section is to look in, is looking at profits, so income and expenses. So if we look at the balance sheet section, we'd start off with capital and drawings. Those are owner's equity accounts. We then have our fixed assets next, so land and buildings, equipment and vehicles. We would then move on to current assets, so trading stock, debtors control, bank, cash float and petty cash. We then move on to our nominal section. We start with sales, which is an income, cost of sales, which is an expense. Both sales and cost of sales will be dealt with in grade nine. So don't worry too much about them. We haven't really dealt with them. So yeah. Um, we then would list current income and rent income next. These are examples of our incomes in the business. Remember, we're looking at our service business. Um, any other incomes would then be recorded next, and then any other expenses would be recorded afterwards. All of these are owner's equity accounts. What does the general ledger look like? Well, an account in the general ledger looks like a capital T and is called a T account. The left-hand side is called the debit side. We summarize debit as DR. And the right-hand side is the credit side, and we summarize credit as CR. So we would list the name of the account. We would either record information on the debit side or we would record information on the credit side. The posting rule, so if we're taking information from the cash receipts journal, we would debit bank in the general ledger and anything else would go on the credit side. Once again, if we post from the cash payments journal, we would credit bank and we would debit any other account. This is the same posting rule that you looked at earlier in the year when you um, looked at account debit, account credit. This is the exact same rule. Double entry principle. Accounting is based on the double entry principle. Every entry that is made on the debit side of one account needs to be recorded on the credit side of another account. So if I have 10 Rand on the debit side, I need to have 10 Rand on the credit side so that they balance. Every transaction needs to balance. Um, all the amounts on the debit side need to add up to all the amounts on the credit side, so it balances. Accounting is worked on balancing.